Hello and welcome back. This is Sherry with Full Armor of God. And I decided to come on today because I believe that I'm receiving a connection in regards to some prophetic messages I received, as well as the Israel-Hamas war and the hostage crisis with the hostages that are not only from Israel, but also from the United States. So what I would like to show you is four different word phrases that I heard and then take you on a little bit of a journey of what I believe I'm being told by the Holy Spirit. The first one is solitary confinement at 3.01 p.m. And as you can see, I received it on Wednesday October the 18th. Let me show you. At 3.01 p.m. Okay, so 3.01, I decided to look it up in Strong's Greek concordance and it took me to Amos and it says Amos an Israelite ancestor of Christ but when I investigated this further it really had nothing to do with the Amos who was the ancestor of Christ, which was a different Amos than the prophet. But I believe it's leading me towards the book of Amos, chapter 3, verse 1. Because it's 3.01 in the book of Amos. So I was led to read the book of Amos 3, 1, and I actually read down through verses 1, 2, and 3. So let me read that for you. It says, listen to this message that the Lord has spoken against you, O people of Israel, against the entire family I rescued from Egypt. From among all the families on the earth, I have been intimate with you alone. That is why I must punish you for all your sins. Witnesses against guilty Israel. That's the section title over verses 3 through 15. But I'm just going to read verse 3. It says, Can two people walk together without agreeing on the direction? So I think... What I'm being led to understand here, the two people that are trying to walk together, I believe, are Israel and the United States. Okay, so this led me to the next message that I received, which was... Stealth Fighter. Let me get to it real quick here. It's on the same date. Wednesday, October the 18th. And here's Stealth Fighter at 4.35 p.m. And Stealth Fighter, I actually found a video on the United States actually having a brand new Stealth Fighter jet actually take off for the first time. So I, I found this video, so I'm going to play it for you right now.
A first look at the U.S. military's next generation of long-range, nuclear-capable stealth bombers. That's it right there, the B-21 Raider. It took its first test flight today over Palmdale, California. That's about 60 miles north of Los Angeles. Now, here's how north of... This was from November the 10th, which was yesterday. I'm recording this late on November the 11th. I'll show you in a moment. Grumman describes it. They say it's the next generation of stealth technology, advanced networking capabilities, and an open system architecture the B-21 is optimized for the high-end threat environment. Price tag on this thing, $750 million bucks, give or take. They're going to make 100 or so of them, at least at the beginning. And Ashley, you looked at me and said... It's good timing. And why would that be? <laughs> well, I mean, and Mick said this too in the break. I mean, they've been working on this for how many years? But the fact that they're revealing this when the world is in such disarray at the moment, I think... You don't think it's a coincidence? No. <laughs> I just hope it's really only... Okay, so notice how she doesn't think it's a coincidence that they're actually showing this B-21 Raider taking off for the first time. And like I said, this was on November the 10th. Which was yesterday. Okay, so I looked up the time that I received Stealth Fighter. And it was at 4.35 p.m. So I looked up 4.35 in Strong's Greek Concordance. Actually, it's Strong's Hebrew Concordance, excuse me. I have a link down here. And it means a lul, which is the sixth Jewish month. And if you read down where it says Brown Driver Briggs, it says proper name of six month, August through September. And I actually was led to read Nehemiah chapter six, verse 15. Okay, I'm going to read where it starts at where it says the builders complete the wall. So on October the 2nd, the wall was finished just 52 days after we had begun. Okay, so. What does this refer to? So I looked up the book of Nehemiah. On Wikipedia. And it says that it is in the Hebrew Bible largely takes the form of a first person memoir by Nehemiah, a Jew who is a high official at the Persian court concerning the rebuilding of the walls of Jerusalem after the Babylonian exile and the dedication of the city and its people to God's laws. And then it goes in and saying how it was originally, it has generally been treated as a separate book within the Bible be before then it had been included in the book of Ezra. So Ezra and Nehemiah were combined. It says the events take place in the second half of the 5th century BC listed together with the book of Ezra as Ezra Nehemiah. 
It represents the final chapter in the historical narrative of the Hebrew Bible. Okay, if you read further down, it says, the book tells how Nehemiah at the court of the king in Susa is informed that Jerusalem is without walls and resolves to restore them. The king appoints him as governor of Judah and he travels to Jerusalem. There he rebuilds the walls despite the opposition of Israel's armies and reforms the community in conformity with the law of Moses. After 12 years in Jerusalem, he returns to Susa, but subsequently revisits Jerusalem. He finds that the Israelites have been backsliding and taking non-Jewish wives, and he stays in Jerusalem to enforce the law. So then it just goes through what all the different chapters in Nehemiah were about. Okay, I'm not going to read all of them, but okay, the last point here, number 13, it says, after 12 years, Nehemiah returns to Susa. He later comes back to Jerusalem and finds that there's been a backsliding. Like I said, in his absence, he takes measures to enforce his earlier reforms and ask for God's favor. Okay. So then I was actually looking at the next set of words that I received, which were hostage survivors. And I heard that on Friday, October the 20th at 11.22 p.m. Okay, so this made me think about either maybe they're questioning some of the people that did make it out of being under the control of Hamas and they're interviewing them to get information from them to decide on how they're going to rescue them. Or this just might be a generalization explaining that the U.S. is also thinking about how it's going to go in to Gaza and find the Americans that are trapped there. So it just made me think about those two different options there for hostage survivors. And I looked up 1122 in Strong's Concordance. in the Greek and it means a writer a scribe and it led me to Nehemiah chapter 8 verse 1 And Ezra was the scribe. It says, Ezra reads the law. In October, when the Israelites had settled in their towns, all the people assembled with a unified purpose at the square just inside the water gate. They asked Ezra, the scribe, to bring out the book of the law of Moses, which the Lord had given for Israel to obey. Okay, so I think that has underlying meaning there too with Israel God wanting Israel to obey the law so then I decided to look up the last phrase that I heard which was hostage crisis
which also was on Sunday, October the 20. Actually, this one was on October the 22nd. Hostage Survivors was on October the 20th. And Hostage Crisis was on October the 22nd at 6.50 a.m. So it seems more emphatic that it's a crisis it's to a crisis situation since it's been since October the 7th since they were captured and kidnapped and taken into Gaza. So it's it's been over a month now, a month and, what, four days? Because I'm recording this on November the 11th, late in the evening. So at 6.50 a.m., I looked up 6.50 on Strong's Concordance. And it means a channel. The word is afik. It means a channel. Which can also be referred to, if you look further down, as it says here, brooks, channels, ravines, streams, strong torrents and what stood out to me was the word tubes so these hostages they are being kept underground in that underground tunnel system which would be similar to what I believe seems like tubes underground or channels and it's like a corridor like a maze so that's what stood out to me with the 650 so in an overview I believe that I received a prophetic message about this b21 stealth bomber that was tested yesterday november the 10th and this was the video that i showed you first Elisa. Back and check this out. This is pretty cool. We're now getting a first look at the U.S. military's next generation of long range nuclear capable stealth bombers. That's it right there. The B-21 Raider. It Did you hear what he said? Nuclear capable stealth bomber. It took its first test flight today over Palmdale, California. That's about 60 miles north of Los Angeles. Now, here's how North of Grumman describes it. They say it's the next generation of stealth technology advanced networking capabilities and an open system architecture the b21 is optimized for the high end threat environment price tag on this thing 750 million bucks give or take they're going to make a hundred or so of them at least at the beginning and ashley you looked at me and said it's good timing and why would that be <laughs> well i mean and mick said this too in the break i mean they've been working on this for how many years but the fact that they're revealing this when the world is in such disarray at the moment i think's you don't think it's a coincidence. Okay, so the timing of it, it's just, I don't know if they're beating their chest, just showing everybody, you know, this is what we got here. So you better not um, do anything to harm those hostages. And then also as well, I was just, you know, looking at different news sites on YouTube and all the Arab nations met for a summit today. So things are, are getting down to the wire, and I don't think that the United States and Israel are on the same page. So I don't know if something could be about ready to happen with this new stealth fighter bomber with nuclear capability. And if it's stealth, that means that it could become 
hidden easily and you can't find it on radar? Are they going to use that to go in and rescue the hostages out of Gaza? I don't know, but these are my thoughts. So please take it to the Lord in discernment in your spirit and may God bless you.